everyone, and welcome to our tour of the Acurus Aerospace Corporation facility. Acurus is a leading tier two supplier of machined parts, kits, and assemblies, as well as a provider of processing services to the global aerospace and defense industries. Examples of customers include Gulfstream, Boeing, and Lockheed Martin. Because these customers have an obligation to uphold safety, Acurus must ensure all of their parts are of the finest quality. This branch of Acurus Aerospace is located in Athens, Georgia. There are also branches in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Kent, Washington, and Wichita, Kansas. Opening its door in 1963, this facility was originally owned by McCann Aerospace, another Tier 2 aerospace part manufacturer serving many of the same customers Acurus serves today. In 2014, McCann was purchased by the Liberty Hall Equity Firm and integrated into the Acurus Corporation. The engineering room is located inside the machine shop. This is where CAD models are created to start the design process. These CAD files are then transformed into CAM files and finally converted to G-code, at which point they are finally able to be read by the CNC machines. Engineers must figure out the best way to design the cutting program for every type of part and have insight to prevent any potential issues. CNC stands for Computer Numerical Control. CNC machining is a fully automated manufacturing process in which pre-programmed computer software is able to dictate the movement of factory tools and other machinery. Because of CNC machining, three-dimensional cutting tasks can be completed in a single set of props. There are several different types of CNC machines, including mills, blades, plasma cutters, and water jet cutters. The CNC machine in the shop is a 5-axis machine, meaning that the machine can move a part or cutting tool along 5 different axes simultaneously. The 5 axes of the machine include the X, Y, and Z axes, which are the Cartesian planes, and the A and B axes, which rotate around the X and Y axes. 5-axis machines are especially popular for aerospace applications since they work well for machining complex parts. Each part starts in the metal warehouse. A forklift operator distributes various metals to each machine that it will be cut on. In aircraft design, the most common metals are aluminum and titanium because of their high strength to weight ratio. Each fixture is created by the engineering department and is part specific. The fixtures are interchangeable because the male and female joints are the same for every fixture. Unfortunately, because of the non-disclosure agreements, the Acurus has with its customers, we are unable to show a part on the fixture and we are only able to show footage of the grob machines. With higher RPMs, there is an increase with machining accuracy since the cutting force decreases. This also allows for surface finish improvements since the friction from the chip heat is negligible and will not affect the surrounding area since the chips are being ejected at such a high velocity. Higher RPMs also help with reducing the formation of burrs. There are multiple cutting tools or heads used in a CNC machine to make it more efficient in cutting out the material needed. Specific heads are designed to be used for specific cuts. Each operator has a list of cutting tools that they must gather and inspect before starting the machine in addition to making sure the machine has lubricant to help reduce friction while cutting tools are being used. After a part is finished being machined, the lubricant soaked metal shavings are collected and compressed into metal pucks that can be recycled. This process both helps recycle metal and squeeze the lubricant from the metal. Afterwards, the lubricant is put in a centrifuge and filtered for future use. Quality control is essential for manufacturing since the company wants to minimize the risk where the company has to recall parts since they're not up to standard. Some of the tools used for quality control are engineering rulers and digital calipers. This is to check the tolerance of a part and make sure that they don't exceed them. For more complex and critical parts, a CMM or coordinate measuring machine are used to measure the geometry of the object by using a mechanical probe that goes over the surface in the X, Y, and Z axes. There are many ways that a CMM can measure the geometry such as using optical, laser, or white light to scan the object. 
After quality control, the parts are ready for shipping. Parts are delicately wrapped in bubble wrap and placed carefully into boxes with foam pads to prevent stiff parts from touching one another. Some parts have to ship to external facilities for additional finishing, such as painting, hardness testing, and bonding for proper electrical distribution in case the plane is struck by lightning. Some parts do not require additional producing and can be sent directly to the customer. That concludes our tour of the Acurus Aerospace Facility of Athens, Georgia. This process is very complex from start to finish, but Acurus's dedication to safety, quality, and precision in their parts ensures that they will last for many years and outshine the competition. We hope that our brief overview has given you an insight into the wonderful world of aerospace part manufacturing.